Hi everyone, I have another Art Kit 8 um, collage art kit project for you guys today. Um, this is an example that I made before, but I want to talk about it sort of before I show you how to make one. Um, so with the items from your kit, you guys can sort of draw some inspiration on how you want to make this today. Um, I'm calling this some kind of a landscape collage, okay? Um, now, what I did with mine, when I looked inside of my art kit, I found two awesome stickers of these deep sea creatures that look super real. So I got a sea turtle and a shark. Um, so I thought I would use those for my big inspiration for this project. Um, I thought about all the layers of looking at the beach and the ocean. So it kind of starts up here with maybe there's grass and then a sandy beach. That's where my little sea turtle's hanging out. Um, inside of your kit, there are these little art puffs. Um, art puffs. I don't. They're called um, magic noodles. N-U-U-D-L-E-S. Magic noodles. Um, I think last week I called them crispy, crunchy art supplies. <laughs> so whatever you want to call them uh, works. But they're awesome and they're in your kit again this week. Um, this is what I used um, and I'll show you again when I make another one here. Um, but I used these to be like rocks um, or pebbles on my beach. I had brown and orange and I squished them on there so now they look like rocks. Um, what else did I use for my kit? We've got a whole bunch of these foam shapes. Okay, some of them are stickers. They're all totally different. Um, I used those. I found I had a little star. Actually, I had two of them. Here's the other one. I had two stars, so I decided those could be starfish on my beach. Um, I found some really cool pieces of paper in my art kit. This one was kind of like an orange piece. It looks like maybe there was some holes punched out of it before. And then I had a blue piece of paper in my kit as well. And also one of these little doilies. So all of those papers, I thought, how can I get creative and turn this into a new picture? Okay. Then as we go down, you'll see that I've really layered up my um, collage today. I had a blue piece of paper for the background that was my water, and then I squished all of my little magic noodles. I got them all wet and I squished them on top of my paper um, so that they would look like maybe big waves or tidal waves, okay? Um, I also have some glitter paint here from home, so that's why mine is glittery. Um, what else did I do? And then of course, doily again down here. Maybe this is seaweed. I don't know, there's always plants down there. And then a little school of fish that are swimming away and they better swim fast because there's my shark, okay? So to make this project, basically you can take out anything in your kit that you want. You are gonna want probably a piece of cardboard to use as your base for your collage today, especially since we're gonna be using these magic noodles that get really wet um, and kind of squishy and messy. It's good to have um, something that's really sturdy to build it on top of like this, okay? Um, so now for my second one today, I looked inside of my kit and I thought, what else can I use um, to sort of make another type of like a landscape or a setting? And I found in my foam shapes, this little horse. So today I'm going to show you guys um, a sort of like an abbreviated version of this project because I got pretty carried away. Um, I'm going to make a little tiny ranch, uh, like a little farm for my horse to live on. Okay. All right. So the way that I'm starting this project, again, a piece of cardboard. I just cut this off of a box that I had lying around. And then in my art kit, I noticed I had this big piece of beautiful blue um, paper in the very bottom of my kit. This is what I'm gonna use today for my background for my horse ranch. Um, so I think mine's also gonna be nighttime because this is a very dark piece of paper. Okay, so this is going to be my base. I just used a glue stick and I glued these two pieces together. Um, so if you need to, take some time, look around your house, see what you can kind of use to piece um, something like this together, okay? Now I can start building on top of this. Um, in my mind, uh, a lot of like horse farms or ranches have like a big sign when you enter the horse farm or the ranch that says like clippity cloppity farms or something like that. Um, I don't know. So that, I'm gonna make a sign for mine. Again, all my little foam pieces, love them. I'm drawing inspiration from them. I'm gonna use my Mod Podge. This is our great um, collage adhesive, just a lot like Elmer's glue, uh, but that it dries really clear and it makes everything really stick together for um, a long time. So this is like totally hardened now, okay? All right, so to make my sign, I cut out a little sheet of orange paper and I'm gonna add my foam shapes to it. So with my glue, 
take a brush. Um, I do have a bit of water on hand. Mod Podge dries pretty quickly and so you don't want to ruin your brushes um, by leaving them sitting with glue on them for a long time. So when you're not using your gluey paintbrush, go ahead and put it back in the water, okay? So I dipped a little bit of Mod Podge on here. On my foam shape, I just painted the back. It doesn't take much, just to thin layers enough. And it'll stick it on. Okay, and then I got this little smiley face. So I'm gonna add that, I can layer up, right? And thinking about all the different ways to layer up paper and foam pieces and all the different things in our kit. Oh yeah, this is gonna be a great sign. Um, some of the foam pieces are actually stickers and they have a little piece of paper on the back. If that's the case, you can just peel it off. Um, that doesn't need any extra Mod Podge. It'll stick on its own. Okay. Now, let's see. Here's my cool sign. I think the name for my ranch is going to be, um, how about Happy Horse Farms? <laughs> is that a real thing? I don't know. It is now. Happy Horse. Oh, where do I write farms? Farm and ranch. How about that? Farm and ranch. Okay. Now, oh, my Sharpie's running out. I got my fancy sign for my for my ranch. Um, so I'm gonna stick this towards the top and I'll hold it up so that you guys can see it in a second. Um, but anything I stick together, again, I'm just gonna use Mod Podge. Um, since my brush has been sitting in this water, I do want it to be dry before I add Mod Podge. Have a um, paper towel near you or a piece of paper that you can dry it off on. Okay, we don't need any extra water. So add my sign here. I'm just gonna dip it in my Mod Podge and make a little rectangle that I can squish that in. Voila. Okay. Now I also noticed in my kit that I have all these little colorful toothpicks. So my sign is up here. I'm gonna have these be like the little posts that are holding the sign up on either side. So for these, teeny tiny bit of Mod Podge. I'm just gonna draw a little line, one, and two. Okay, and then I take my sticks and I squish them in. Of course, um, these could potentially fall off, but I'm gonna be really careful and just sort of let them dry in place. Okay, my fancy sign. Now, I'm thinking about um, sort of the bottom of my landscape. I think that my horse would appreciate some grass. Using this doily, I'm gonna cut some parts of this off. This doily is really thin and really fragile. It's almost like tissue paper. Um, so just be, just be aware of that when you're cutting it. Um, let's see, I'm gonna cut one more piece here. Okay, so I'm gonna pretend that this is like grass on the bottom of my landscape, okay? Um, again, using Mod Podge, dip it in, and I'm gonna spread just a thin, even layer spread out all those globs, right? So it's nice and even. And now the thing I, I'm gonna do with these doilies, once I get them stuck down here, okay, really nice and thin, doesn't take much. Pick them up, we're gonna stick them in. Um, if some of it is hanging off the side, don't worry about it, I can just trim it off with the scissors, right? Okay, so it's squished in. I've got a little bit extra hanging off the sides. I'm just gonna trim that off. Now that these are stuck down, I am going to do a layer on top of this. Because I'm going to be sticking other stuff on top of it, I really want this to be as flat as possible against um, my background. So I'm being kind of careful, take your time, especially with all the little tiny holes in this doily. I don't wanna accidentally rip it. Okay. Okay, nice, thin, even layer. Now, it does kind of look white right now. Again, it will dry clear, and it'll kind of look like that when it's all done. So you can still see your doily. It's a little bit shiny, but it does dry clear. Need to finish my other side here. Okay. And then, I think the next thing I'm gonna do is add a little fence so that my horses have like a little corral to hang out in. There it is. Again, it's not gonna look how it is when it's dry at the moment because it's still really wet. 
before I make my corral, these are bugging me, so I'm gonna trim these off. Ha ha. And this side. Cool. Looking good, looking good. Um, so for my corral, again, all those colorful little um, craft sticks, this is what I'm gonna use to make a little horse fence. Oops. Um, so for these, since I have a good layer of Mod Podge here, um, I actually don't think I need too much more. Maybe I'll just add, oh shoot, here we go. I'm just gonna add a little bit extra for when I lay these down, and I'm gonna lay them sort of in a pattern of a fence. So here's one, and I'll fold it up in a second and show you sort of what I mean. One, two, three. Oh, I thought I had one more. Oh, well. One, two, four. And then I think I'm gonna put, I don't know if you guys can see that, yeah. I'm gonna put one right across the middle like a real fence. <laughs> okay. Again, it looks really white and shiny right now because it's totally wet still. Once it dries, um, you'll be able to see it a lot better. Okay. Now I'm gonna use these art puffs, corn puffs, magic noodles, crunchy, crispy art things. Um, to add some actual textured grass to it. So again, kind of like this one, how it adds this really cool texture, kind of pops off the background. That's what I'm gonna do with these pieces. So, um, a little container of water is all you need. I'm just gonna dunk these, oh, throw them um, in the water. Okay, nice and wet. This part does get a little messy. And then, taking my wet magic noodle, I'm gonna squish it right on top of my grassy area. Now, this is gonna be wet for a little bit, okay? Now, I notice also that the more you saturate this with water, the squishier um, this gets, almost to the point of like, um, I wanna say like mashed, pota mashed potatoes or something. So experiment with it and have fun with it. I'm gonna dunk my second one here. Doo -doo -doo. And squish this one. Da, 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 da. And actually, guys, I have one more green one, but what I think I want to do is cut it in half, and I'll show you why. That's pretty cool. Okay. Um, I've got just a little space here left, so if I take a corn puff, art puff, crispy crunchy, and I cut it in half, ta -da, I can make them smaller. So now I'll take this little guy, dunk him in. And squish that last last thing into place. Now I have just a few final touches that I want to put on. Um, you guys are sort of getting the idea right of just be creative. You can use anything in here, you guys. Um, I think I'm t ready to add my majestic horse here to the pasture now that I got my grass, my fence, my fancy ranch sign. Um, so for this, I'm going to use some Mod Podge and actually paint the back of my horse because. All those little teeny tiny legs, I wanna make sure that I get them covered in this Mod Podge here. Okay, now that he's covered, add it to the pasture. Okay, since this is um, a happy horse farm, this is gonna be a very fabulous horse. I'm gonna put this little blue heart sparkle right on this horse. Now the last thing, I have a little moon, and since mine is a really dark sky, I'm gonna add a little moon up here, okay? Again, just use my Mod Podge. And which side? Yeah, I'll put it on this side. Okay, all right, you guys. So I'm gonna have to let this dry for a little bit. If I wanted to, I could go back in later and maybe I wanna draw some little white clouds in the background. Um, I could put glitter paint on top of it. I could add stickers to it. It's totally up to you guys. Okay, turned out pretty cute. Um, so if you do decide to create something like this, I would love to see what you guys come up with, okay? Um, so have fun and share your creations with us.